I told you I'm gonna wear these. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to get your reaction. I got a bunch of heat that I need to show you guys. But first, we gotta go to Target. So let's go. All right, so we're checking prices on the Dior's right now. It's looking like Mina's size is going for about 10,000 now, and my size is going for about 11,000. With taxes and fees, it comes out to 12,600 bucks, so close to $13,000. So we still have not pulled the trigger. We've been offered pairs, but the low tops, which Mina, Mina got offered a low top and she passed on it. I would have took it. <sighs> we're being smart. Anyway, let's go to Target. I feel like Target used to have really dope stuff for guys' clothes, but or maybe they do. Let's check it out. Pop Tart t-shirt. Tupac t-shirt? All right, that's fire. Friends t-shirt. I like that. Dwight Schrute. Bruh, Ultimate Warrior? All right, I take it back. They got good graphic tees here, but I don't need any more. Now we got to go back to the crib and show you all this new heat that I picked up. Like I keep talking about, we got a bunch of stuff that I need to show you guys. I wonder if I could flip this inside out. It worked. Now I have the outside of the box saying foam runners and the size tag. That's way better. Okay, I've been hyping these up for like a couple days now. These are obviously the Air Jordan Off-White 4s. This is the fifth collab between Off-White and Jordan brand. Hello, my child. First off, we got the see-through tissue, which I actually like. The woman's off-white Air Jordan 4s. We're giving a pair of these away. I'm teaming up with a few homies to give away these on my Instagram. So the Instagram post will actually go live tomorrow at 12 p.m. Go follow me, guys. I've been telling you guys this for weeks and months now. Like, I'm not gonna stop with the giveaways. I wanna give back as much as possible. This is my personal pair, but we are gonna have one to give away to the winner. So yeah, guys, giveaway tomorrow. Do not miss out. I personally think think that this is one of the hottest shoes of the summer there's only been like nike dunks this whole year that's been going on so like so this excites me we've got the off-white deconstructed vibe so it always looks sick on any air jordan or just any sneaker in general of course the sock liner's got that deconstructed vibe as well as the tongue fused on the toe and then if you actually look over here under this little flap the inside of the shoe is also fused but that's not really going to show man overall these are sick they're kind of going for over a thousand dollars right now which I mean, I think it's gonna go lower when they actually release, which is this weekend. Personally though, if I wasn't doing a giveaway, I probably would have waited for these to come out so I could see where the value of the shoe is going. I would have preferred to pay under $1,000 for the shoe, but of course this is the thing that pops the most to everyone. It's just the Nike Air being on the midsole right above the airbag. That's it's actually pretty dope. But yeah, Off-White Jordan 4s. I'm really happy to add these to the collection. And again, I'm giving away a pair tomorrow on my Instagram. So do not miss the giveaway. All right, let's go on because we do have a bunch of other stuff I want to show you. If you guys did not know, Kith recently did a collab with Looney Tunes. I think it was like the anniversary of Bugs Bunny or something like that. I got two t-shirts and I also got the plush box set. All right, so this one right here, this is the Tasmanian Devil t-shirt. Obviously, he's the Tasmanian Devil, but they put him into an angel right there. They got the angel halo over his head and then on the back of the shirt i love when they do this it's him spinning in his little tornado and the second shirt i got is probably the most hyped shirt from the whole collection the space jam tee right here i love how they made the shirts look like they're actually vintage t-shirts and then this is on the back and i didn't even realize this until i actually got my package but you actually have the monsters this is the plush box set i thought this was going to be bigger than it is Whoo! look at the inside of the box first up we got tasmanian devil Kith on his tummy right there. This guy, I forgot what this guy's name is, but he's from uh, the Tweety Bird uh, series. He's the one that's always trying to kill Tweety Bird. Yup, we got Bugs Bunny himself, the coyote, Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird looks the sickest in the Bugs Bunny colorway. The Roadrunner right here, Marvin the Martian. Look at him, he's got the people's eyebrow going. So yeah, that was the Kith Looney Tunes collab. Now let's get into two sneakers right here. First off, we got these from the homies over at the Fix Kick. Shout out to the Fix Kicks in Santa Clara, California. They also sent me some of their t-shirts too. This one was inspired by the Ben and Jerry's. So these ladies and gentlemen are the Tie-Dye Air Jordan 1. Tie-Dye is nothing new obviously, but it's been super popular recently and they put it on an Air Jordan 1. Now, this 
is a woman's colorway, so not too many guys have these, but I'm grateful that it did come in my size. It looks like it actually came from like a tie-dye t-shirt. I don't know if that was the vibe that they were looking for, but it looks like they ripped up a tie-dye t-shirt and put it on an Air Jordan 1. So yeah, man, these are super, super dope. I'm actually gonna be rocking these for a photo as well because Mina got a pair too, so we wanna take like our matching couple photo with these. And now let's move on to our last Air Jordan 1 pickup. These right here came out and I feel like they're kind of underrated, but it's one of those shoes that's gonna creep up in a few months, I promise. Watch, mark my words. And I'm talking about the... What are they called? These things right here. I think these are called like the smoke gray Jordan 1s. Look, it's a broke man union. We we all know what they were going for. Now for this pair, I gotta give a huge shout out to the Soul Steels family. You guys know I rep Soul Steels hard. I work with them a lot and it's one of my favorite websites. Like genuinely, I love what they offer. Hello? And they're actually doing a crazy sale, or not a sale, but they have a crazy promo this weekend. Soul Steels is a website where you pay monthly to have access to the website but since you're paying monthly, all of their inventory is way under market. Like you're getting crazy steals, deals, sometimes even free raffles. Some of the things they got dropping this weekend is the red Jordan 3s, dropping them on Sunday for 100 bucks. And also this Sunday, they're dropping bread 11s for 150 bucks. Like I said, they also do crazy stuff like free raffles for members, just like so many great prices. I'm gonna link their website down below and I, I you can even browse their inventory without being a member. So you can see some of the stuff they have but you won't be able to purchase unless you actually sign up for the membership so yeah guys this has been my latest pickup from soul steals and i honestly really do like these again you got the union vibe with the top of the shoe being a bread and then the bottom of the shoe kind of being like a weird version of a shadow or a light gray Jordan 1. Overall, they did a great job. The materials on the shoe is kind of what sold me. So the upper on the shoe, this red part right here is leather, just like the bread Jordan 1s. But then the rest of the shoe, like the swoosh and all this gray area is all suede. You do have leather on this toe, which is kind of plushy too. I like that. So yeah, so I think these are dope. I, I think they are going to go up in price in a few months. Yeah, another Jordan 1. Actually, two Jordan 1s added to the collection. All right, so that was all of my pickups. Again, the highlight of everything was obviously the Air Jordan 4 off whites. Yeah, Mina made me breakfast, so I need to go eat. Look at this. This is what you call best life. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Mag Park. Good to see the store coming back to life. They got all the shoes on the wall, but they're still not open here. A lot of things have closed back down here in LA. Oh, we're kind of like the worst place to live right now, but it's all good. Just gotta be safe. Speaking of being safe, I'm gonna remove my mask so that I can talk to you guys. Ooh, what size are these? Eight and a half, not my size. I really want these. These two, man, the airships. I'm looking for these, but I don't want to buy the whole box set. I just want the airship. Like, this is cool. But this is fire. And also, guys, the goat is back. What's good, G? Yes, sir, Ski. We over here loading up film, my boy. Come on. My guy caught the camera from 1955. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mina's in the building. That's it? Okay. So we got the fit on. The reason why we were in, even in the area is because I took a photo wearing the Kit Space Jam tee right in front of the Warner Brothers Studios where they actually filmed Space Jam. This is Sean's shoe, right? These are actually sick. Bro, it's crazy how much these are worth now. Yeah, they're the used color. for sure. They're, they but even right. used, those are for like 2K for all the Nike Dunk people. Damn, these go for 3,000? Oh my God. Oh, let me just eat this real quick. These are freaking sick. The Drew League Air Force Ones. Like it's super simple, just like the Supreme Air Force Ones, but it's like, you know, it makes its own statement just being that simple. All right, we got the tie-dye Jordan ones on feet. I put the white laces, got the white socks. We're about to take a photo right here on this white wall. So while we were in Mag Park, Mickey offered me a shoe that I really, really want, but I want to go home and see if there's anything that I could trade to get that shoe because I don't want to pay all cash for it. So that might be a next uh, one of the next videos is buying one of my dream shoes. So all I'm going to say is, Stay tuned for that. And I wore these today, took a photo in them. So yeah, we're going hard today with the content. All I could think about while we were filming is that your shoes look like they came from 1985. Bruh. I bought these at sneaker con. Bruh, them looks like, literally look like they're 30 years old. Yeah, hey. We wear our sneakers. We wear our sneakers. <laughs> yeah, it's all corduroy. Oh. Bro, you be getting your materials wrong. Oh, really? Yeah, on the middle. 
think I've been out of the shoe game like that? Come on, man. Yeah, I thought you fell off. Put some off. respect on my name. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I was top by the bed. 